I am King Sign. Production. Production. That's Yoko Ferro. Yoko Ferro. Audio. The fucking parallel universe. Duo from Illinois. Yeah, Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. The people don't really recognize this place by Illinois, so from Chicago. I'm really be in the lab. Join that P unit. Get at us. Subscribe up to our channel. Create a vision. That's right. Look at the visuals. Check us out. SoundCloud. P U music. I mean, that's, that's really a crazy story. I don't really know how to start it. It's a crazy time. Um, 2013, you know, we was dealing with some other people and stuff didn't work out and shit. I was like, man, we should form a group. And he had an album coming out, independent album coming out called Parallel Universe. And I uh, liked it so much. I uh, like to call it group Parallel Universe. Yeah. The mushings together, two styles, different, but on the same path, you know what I'm saying, like parallel styles, Yeah, it was really fitting for what we were going for with, yeah. <laughs> right now what we're doing, we just releasing singles every week or so, something like that, we just kind of putting out music, we making new songs and putting them out, recording our mixtape, opinions and asshole. Everybody got one. There you go. Yeah. Man, trying to build this awareness, trying to mm -hmm. get the brand out there. We also shooting videos to the singles that we feel is hot. You know, you never know what the public may think. Yeah, you know? They like everything and don't like everything. We try to pick and choose which ones might be the best ones, but you know, you never know. So that's why we just keep coming up with different ones. Because the Parallel Universe, you get options. You get options because the customer is never right. <laughs> But they're always right. <laughs> Correct. So the customer's never wrong either. You know? Yeah. A cycle. Yeah, you wouldn't get it. Yeah. That's coming from the other side. The other side. And we always like to welcome you to the other side. Oh, yeah. The time you listen to our music, you know, you venture off into the other side. You know, you probably won't know. You know what I'm saying? But four minutes and three minutes, you, you're on the other side, man. You, you have now gravitated over there. So have fun. Dude. Be free and shit. Yeah. So what you gotta understand is we aim to bring the entertainment mm -hmm. back to the music, mm -hmm. the hip hop culture. Definitely, you know everything's gotten so serious. Why so serious? You know, and we just wanna have fun. You know, not necessarily party. Yeah, not necessarily party. <laughs> but just have a good time. You know, just relax. You know, shit, yeah. shit ain't gotta be serious. I don't mean. Preaching, or yeah. you know, we're not saying don't have a good time, mm -hmm. we just saying you ain't gotta take yourself so serious. Yeah, man. You know, so the ways to have fun, life is short. Yeah, you ain't gotta get drunk to have fun. Nah, but you do want to get high. Yes, you always want to get high. You don't have to get high, but you should want to. Yeah, you should want to. It should be a need. A blood a day keeps the doctors away. <laughs> Truth. I'm gonna live in testament to that. <laughs> I guess he doesn't go to the doctors. <laughs> Haven't been in like five years, maybe like seven, eight, eight years. I think she go get checked up. That's a fun fact about King Sean. Mm -hmm. The more you know, King Sean has never went to the doctor. <laughs> Super healthy out here. Yeah. I train myself. I'm a strict diet. I'm not quite a vegan, I'm not a vegetarian, yeah. I'm not a carnivore. Yo, you can? No, that's cannibalism. Oh, uh, niggas eat pussy. That's a whole different thing. <laughs> oh, that's not cannibalism. <laughs> that's not, no, because you don't physically eat it to you lick it. So why do they don't call it licking the pussy? <laughs> they do. But why do they refer it to as eating it? I'm not quite sure. All because right. you're licking it. And I guess... Lick it does not involve eating. <laughs> I could lick a popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> this is going really far. <laughs> I'm getting quite uncomfortable. <laughs> Sorry. You know, yeah, this, this is the truth. You can not eat a vagina, but you can mm -hmm. lick a vagina. Okay. That has nothing to do, but that is what happens when you step on the other side. Yeah, man. People need to be asking these questions. Or not questions. You know, you encourage free thinking.
Everybody's so original that they not. And you can. Yo, you can believe that. <laughs> Definitely like a chill and relaxed day. Like the day has to start off good, you know, with or without smoking. It really doesn't matter. As long as the day is chill, I feel like, you know, I can be inspired by anything. You know, not to sound corny, but you know, birds chirping, shit like that. People arguing on the street, you know. No, you sound real corny, man. <laughs> you know, I was really, I thought we was going to talk more about artists, but. You got to talk about those birds. And, you know, sometimes when we wake up early in the morning, there's deer <laughs> in the yard. And it is just the most beautiful thing I'm telling you. It's baby, little baby deer, little baby bambies, you know, grazing away. And you make a subtle little sound if they run, and I just be like, oh, I got a sound. Uh, okay. I just, that's, that's, you know, like the birds. And then sometimes you look in the sky and you see these. Uh, weed shaped clouds, and you're just like, man, I'm cloud eyes. No, but seriously, though, what artists inspired me, oh, man, definitely a uh, comeback kid, man, uh, Charles Hamilton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, ever since then, I definitely want to start, like, taking the shit seriously, even so, like, oh, hey, he's like, oh, that's act. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He don't do, but he does say, <laughs> secretly taught me how to, like, you know, maneuver through shit right. without him even, you know, speaking to me directly. True. I mean, there's the other people out there that pursue music and take with music. Nah, nobody else, man. They're the universe. That's a good inspiration. <laughs> definitely check those guys out. Pretty hot. If I do say so myself, and I do say so myself. I think I was inspired to do music, the West Coast gangster rap, you know, mm. back in the early 90s. Mm. It was just, you know, real passionate, kind of express yourself freely. Mm -hmm. And I've always been an advocate of expressing yourself freely. That's what happens when you don't give a fuck. Give a fuck. You know, so you just got to tell it how it is. And that's what I tend to try to do. Biggie, the greatest rapper ever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Biggie Smalls. R.P. Um, he was a, a big inspiration. <laughs> big inspiration. <laughs> right, yeah. Just to like the wordplay and how, how I put together constructed lyrics. As far as like production and stuff, music in general, like I said, that with early West Coast vibe really inspires me to make my music and then Southern bass line really drives my bass. East Coast funk now. from Midwest. Yeah, and then I was gonna end it off with that wow. spedazzle spectacularness yeah. that you can only find in the Midwest. Yeah. The secret sauce, the man. mouth sauce. So yeah, you then, I hit it with the mouth sauce. <laughs> so that's what it is. Boom! You hit it with the mouth sauce, and then secret it's sauce. Over. Wow. Wow. Everything good. Mm. You know, when I really, when I really first started doing mini music, I gotta do. I gotta say this. Fucking, uh, I was really listening to Kid Cudi Heavy. Mm. That uh, Man on the Moon. Mm. I, don't, you know I was really fucking with that. Yeah, I did. I was uh, <laughs> listening to Charles Hill. He was time. listening to Charles. So. Yeah, I was he fucking like ten times Kid Cudi because he does. He did like ten times. Girl. So, <laughs> it was very hard for me. So as you can see, I guess I'm a little malnourished. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the extreme other side. I'm just the other side, yo. Yo, the Pharaoh, don't fuck with the other Pharaoh. Yeah, because it's like, bro, or whatever you want to be, the cool guy. Dancing monkeys. Oh, damn. That's one thing you know. If you catch me dancing, and that's it, people even watch this video, then I'm rich as fuck. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? 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 Yeah, you know what I'm just let you know right now. That's when I dance. If the Uncle Pharaoh was dancing, you heard it here first. <laughs> in our first in our first stop, in our first spot. You know what I'm saying? You heard it. The Uncle Pharaoh dance, he rich as fuck. I don't know what he gonna do on stage when niggas is performing. Oh, dance, you know I don't know what he gonna do. Just rock or something. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, he Cause, can't two step. Yeah, because we ain't got 40 niggas on the stage, bro. We ain't put it in there.
be sitting down and shit. I'll be laying on the floor right yeah, here. Yeah, we're gonna have to we gonna have to turn it out, rap with tears and shit. Yeah. <laughs> we putting on a show. Hold right, on. a show, right? Just entertain it, nigga. Hold on. No, no, halfway through this act, <laughs> we gonna throw the tears. Yeah. <laughs> and then do bad for It's gonna be a real live wrestling match. And then, <laughs> we'll stay. And then acrobats are gonna come out. Exactly. And flares are gonna go yeah. up. Woo! Rick Flair for Charlotte. Oh, Sting. Oh, Sting. I did the Sting one, so Rick Flair. Oh, yes.